Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and in today's video we're going to be discussing how to enable air printing. With the rise in mobile technology in the office, MFP manufacturers have been doing an excellent job of, of keeping devices up to date in order to be compatible with mobile printing solutions, such as printing from tablets and phones. The Kyocera line is no different. The Kyocera comes air print ready uh, in order to print using the Macintosh air print driver from your iPhone and iOS devices. Something to keep in mind is that the copier, in order for this to work, the copier and the mobile device need to be on the same network. Usually you'll see this where a copier is on the wireless network uh, and the phone is on the same wireless network. So, without further ado, let's discuss how to enable AirPrint. The first thing you'll need is you'll need the printer's IP address. If you don't know how to find the printer's IP address, please watch our video on finding your printer's IP address. Once you have the IP address, you'll open up a web browser and you'll enter the IP address as if you were going to a website. Once you're in the web portal, at least specifically for the Kyocera, you will log in as an admin. Once here, you'll go to function settings uh, and then printer. In here, you'll scroll down to the air print settings. You'll click settings. Now, we want to turn this on uh, as opposed to keeping it off. And we also want to edit the bonjour name. Now, the bonjour name is the name that you will see when you are searching for it on your phone. So I might call this the office copier. And then I'll click submit and then confirm on my web page to set those settings up. Now, in order for your device, your iOS device, to see the copier after AirPrint has been enabled, you may need to restart your device in order for it to re-sweep the network for printing devices. And there you have it, folks. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we discussed how to enable AirPrint on your Kyocera Task Alpha device to allow you to print from iOS devices. Uh, and thank you for stopping by today, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Music